Hello and welcome to this Onshape tutorial video. In this video, we will learn how to create a bracket using more sketching and extruding in Onshape. So go ahead, log into Onshape, click on Create a New Document, and then name the document as instructed by your teacher. I will name mine with my first name, my last name, my class period, and the assignment name. Click OK once you have named your part. Wait for our Part Studio to load. All right, so here we are in our new part studio. We're going to be building a bracket today. This bracket could be used with big machinery or a car, something like that. As always, the first step we're going to use is create a sketch. And we'll create our sketch on our front plane. So click on the front plane. And then I'm going to go to my front view so I can get a nice view of what I'm drawing. Now up in the sketch area in the tools, I'm going to select the corner rectangle. Yesterday we used the center rectangle, today I'm using the corner rectangle. I'm going to click once on the origin to start my corner there and bring my rectangle out like so. That looks good. All right, so that is the first part of my bracket. I'm going to stay on my rectangle tool. So it's still selected. I haven't pressed escape yet. I'm going to draw another rectangle inside of this one. Notice that they share a top edge. And now I'm going to click the escape button so I have my arrow key back. Now I want my bracket to kind of have a U shape. So you can see the outline of the U. I don't need this line here. So to get rid of that line, I'm going to use my trim tool, the scissors, and I'm going to click on that line. There we go. So I deleted that line. Now I have that U shape I was hoping to get. Another cool thing I'm going to do is I want this top of the U and this top of the U to always be equal in length. Um, right now, if I dragged this dot, I can change the length. They are not equal. So to do that, I'm going to select each edge. So see how I highlighted both of those? And then up here, in the upper right-hand corner, I'm going to click on this equals sign. What this does is it places a constraint. That constraint will make these two sides equal always. So notice how it won't let me change the size of them. If I do this, they change size together. Uh, that's a really cool feature in Onshape. You can make things the same size. These will always be the same size. Um, this looks good to me. I'm going to exit this sketch by clicking on the green check mark. And as always, I'm going to go to my isometric view. There's my U-shape. Let's go ahead and turn this into a 3D object using the Extrude button. So I clicked on Extrude. It says to select a face or sketch to extrude. I select the U. And this time, let's extrude this out like, I don't know, three inches maybe. That looks good. 3.44, close enough. You can extrude yours out however far you want. And click the green check mark. OK, the last feature I want to add to this U bracket, um, I'm going to make a little cutaway, like where you could put a key or a bolt into. I'm going to want to start my cutaway on this top face here. To do that, I'm going to click on Sketch, select this top of the U. Notice now that I'm creating my sketch not on a plane, 
but on a flat surface of the part, which is kind of cool. I'm going to go to my top view. So again, I was sketching on here. I went to my top view. And I'm going to make a little cutaway. So selecting my corner rectangle tool, I'm going to draw a rectangle up here. It'll snap to the edges. That looks about right. And I'm going to click the green check mark. All right, what I'm going to do with this rectangle is I'm going to extrude it. Uh, I'm going to click on the extrude button, select that rectangle. This time, instead of adding material, I'm going to select the remove material button. So again, it was on add. See how it's adding material. I want to remove material. That looks good to me, removing about one inch. Click the green check mark. Go back to our isometric view. There you have it, very simple U bracket. Um, if you haven't already, please follow the steps in this video to create this exact shape yourself. Um, after that, you are going to be creating your own version of parts in the document by clicking on this plus button and creating two more part studios. You're going to be creating two more parts of your choice. So go ahead, create a new part studio and create the rest of the parts in the document. Uh, thanks for tuning in and have a great day.